Hi everyone, welcome back to the Captain Fishbury's YouTube channel. I'm Tom Spark. We did have another video with the great Ed Stockham today, our first return guest on the channel. And it went really well and it was brilliant and it was a couple of hours of really good fun. But I forgot to properly record my drawing parts, so that made it not so good. Um, Hopefully, Ed's going to send me his stuff and that's going to be fine, so that'll make it a bit better. But what I really want to say is I'm very sorry for messing it up. It would have been awesome. Hi guys, welcome back to the table. Here I am with my first ever repeat guest, and it's my enormous pleasure to welcome Ed back, Ed Stockham. Well, it's a it's a honour to be back, and pleasure as always. Like love it. Um, you were my first ever guest, and now you're my first ever repeat guest. Mm, yeah, no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that, you might start now just going back through everybody I've done before and then make them oh, do it. Oh, you run out? Is that why I'm back? <laughs> <laughs> did you run out of people? No, you are, you are literally back because we had a chat on Instagram the other day and we thought, let's do another one. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, well, you, you, you brought to the channel your own game last time and mm. um, we know that was that was extremely fun. I uh, draw some fights and obviously carried on on Instagram. I've seen lots more of those fun yeah, things. Sort of uh, but wow. this time we're going to do a more traditional for the channel anyway chat and draw on this one so um That's this insane. is it this is your new... command this time. sorry you're in command this time yes uh, yeah nice <laughs> so i've got to ask you the question have you uh, have you got a drink uh yes it is all the way over here because wait uh, last time you had tea oh yeah i've got tea again <laughs> tea again that's consistent uh, i've got um it's a it's a honey and chamomile tea today sounds nice mm. Yeah, chamomile it can smells, be. Yeah, but the honey really is. But like, it just tastes like water. It smells really nice, but it just tastes like water. Like all, all like flavored teas just taste it's, like water. It's, it's gonna help you sleep, though, isn't it? It's gonna be a mm. nice. Relax. Like halfway through this, I'm just. Gonna, yeah, just gonna drop down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the game. That music. Wait, everyone, <laughs> the, the time is going now. Everybody can take a guess about what time Ed will fall asleep. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing about five minutes. I've got to figure out somewhere to put this now. Cause That's I... fine. I'll finish it anyway. Awesome. Have you had your dinner? Yes, I have. Oh. Oh. Sorry, yeah. I missed that. Uh, yes, yeah, I have. What have you had? Um, I, I was basically just everything I needed eating in the fridge. <laughs> so, like, I've got I have burgers. Uh, I made some sweet potato wedgie fry things um and then beans and broccoli so i'm gonna be fine <laughs> like, it's a brilliant oh, dinner you've got yeah. all your nutritional elements in that dinner and it yeah. it sounds like it tasted amazing yeah it was quite stodgy it's sort of like <laughs> i'm feeling quite heavy but <laughs> it's yeah. good vitamins good protein in there that's a five-star yeah. dinner as far as i'm concerned <laughs> <laughs> do you know what this is do i know what that is it is uh, I've got a. I know what it is, but I'm trying to think of what it isn't that I can say that would be funny. But I've ruined that now. So. Uh, it's the golden box. It's the is golden it? box. It is. Yeah, it's it disappeared. Right. That was magic. <laughs> <laughs> it did disappear. Didn't it? I forgot to say that the big gold box. It big gold box. Big gold box is magic, obviously. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pick something out for us to draw. A duck billed platypus. Nice. Yeah. Nice. That was uh, Rob Jones. Thanks, Rob, for that one. That's a nice one. I'm going to pick out a oh, John Ottaway, a samurai. Samurai. So Sam samurai. Samurai. Sam Sam samurai. 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 So the duck bill platypus is a samurai. Yeah. And <clears throat> our location is going to be Venice. Oh, nice. Venice. Nice. 
Venice. Um, mass- samurai sword. Oh, As okay, a god gondolier alert. pole. Yeah, just slicing up fish. I love <laughs> this idea. <laughs> Right, so I shall move my picture of Ed Stock, which doesn't look anything like you now. I'm going to have to change it up massively. Right. I've got a sharpie here. I can change it. Oh. I'm going to have to. Sorry, I haven't. Uh, I'm going to have to get a new one. I haven't set up my filming, my overhead filming. Oh, no, I've made you look like prime Michael Jackson now. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, you're bad here at Michael Jackson. Oh, oh no! Well, bad era of Michael Jackson is sort of now because he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's not. It's like, not now, Michael Jackson. Oh, oh no, that's all right. It was better okay. before, I think. I quite like. No, the hair's very. Um, do you know Mickey Dolenz? Yeah. Um, yeah. Mickey Dol- my childhood hero. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> uh, uh, hundred and something. I don't know. <laughs> No, it's, no, I was watching. Actually, I was watching a lot of uh, videos this morning of Peter Talk. So oh, really? Was, yeah, I'm a big Monkeys fan. Oh, uh, good stuff. That just, fits with you. I could see that with your <laughs> with your personality. I've just turned my phone off. Sorry, I was. I'm trying to set up an overhead. It's all right. I'd like wait. <laughs> oh, that was. <laughs> I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> And not even that, it just prolongs the the, uh, the wonderful time I get to spend with you. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to start planning out my duck build platypus oh. slash samurai slash slash, it's quite the right word. Uh, <laughs> then it's... <laughs> yeah. Hmm. There's got to be some sort of canal or something, isn't it? Let's try it. Okay. Oh, my friend's not... Ball. You've been to Venice? No, I haven't. Have you? No. No, I can't. I've not, been to, not been to Italy at all, actually. Uh, I went to Milan once on a bank holiday. Mm. Mm. It was all shut. It was a, oh. on a holiday day where all the Italians go away. Everything was shut. Oh, that's yeah. all right. Except for I H&M. like that. <laughs> yeah, obviously. I don't know why, obviously. <laughs> I bought a cardigan. <laughs> a cardigan? Yeah. Nice, from Milan. Yeah, that's exactly. Is that the most fashionable thing you own? It totally is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, yeah, that's good. Uh, what's what's in Venice apart from canals? Uh, there's the Bridge of Sighs. I did a oh. project of, on Venice when I was in school. Uh, I try to remember what else. Um, Bridge of Sighs. Okay. The, the big, that. Uh, library from Indiana Jones. That's in. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, there's a big. Shadow of my phone right over the top. I hope that's okay. Of course, it's okay. I'll do some shadow puppets and then. <laughs> it's no problem. Um, this is not a high standards production. <laughs> cool. I've got loads of. I'm showing the camera now, so you'll see it later on, I guess. But okay, I've yeah, yeah. Loads of, uh, I've got loads of African elephant. Well, some of them are Indian elephants, I think. But I've got loads of elephant stickers. Uh, on my sketchbook, uh, and they're shiny. I'll just thought right. I'd show, show that before I. How many uh, sketchbooks do you think you go through in a year? Um, these little ones, they tend to be about one a month, maybe a month and a half. So wow. about ten, I think, probably. Because sometimes this year I haven't like, because I used to have a routine of like. Uh, going to a coffee shop every morning and drawing and like yeah and it, it was a routine that sort of like made sure I 
uh, I did like fill a page at least yeah. a day. Yeah, I remember you uh, saying that in one of your videos that you were making special yeah. efforts to do that before work. Yeah, um, and now it kind of like I don't really do that because I'm sort of, because it's working. You from could home go to the coffee shop, but I don't think it's going to be open. It might be actually for takeaways and things. <laughs> I could just sit outside the coffee shop and draw on the street. It's getting a bit cold for that. It is a bit chilly now, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I've got. Um, I'm trying a new fine liner because obviously everything's closed at the moment. Um, so the place where I usually get fine liners is shut. So I've, okay. I've got. So I've got um, a Wilco own brand uh, fine liner. So I'll see how make or break. This is like yeah, a, it could, this could be amazing. This could be the best fine liner I've ever had. Yeah, this is like a consumer advice show now as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll see. I should start drawing actually. What, I uh, what, think you're finished by now. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. Yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep for a bit. Uh, what sort of tail does a duckbill platypus have? Is it is it a big flat one? Yeah, like a beaver. Is yeah. it like a beaver? I was gonna say. Yeah, like yeah, because they've got like the head of a duck and the body of a beaver, and webbed feet and a big the males have a venomous sting on their on their butt wow um so you don't want to be like a bee i guess yeah. <laughs> so they're half half beaver half duck half bee yeah strength of a bear speed of a puma yeah <laughs> <laughs> all love <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't think the samurai one's all love. It's got to be some some. Oh, sort of... sorry, all honor. Is yeah. that right? Yeah, yeah honor. honor, definitely. Actually, no. I'm trying to remember <laughs> what samurai. I've totally stolen your idea of using the samurai sword as the uh, gondolier. Oh, thing. that's cool. I totally forgot I <laughs> said that. So I was. Um... <laughs> This fine liner is okay. Oh, I'm really pleased good. to hear it. So far, so good. I like it. Wilco sponsorship now. Hopefully. That'd be can nice. I, can I get some as well? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Sure, yeah, um, we'll, yeah, we can say Wilco sponsors the <laughs> Tom and Ed drawing show. <laughs> Sorry, well, Ed and Tom. That would be amazing. Sure. Right, Tom and Ed Tom <laughs> I often get called Tom, actually. Do you? Yeah, like lots of people mistake me for a Tom. Um, you do look a bit like a Tom, I have to say, yeah. Mm. I think, yeah, thanks. thanks. We'd be happy to have um, you. Lacking the beard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could probably get my hair. Should I try? I can. No, it doesn't quite go to the beard. What, is, is it like oh. a sideburn? Yeah, nearly. Yeah. Nearly. Is there anything in the back you could push around to the front here? And... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, that's. It's not like Hugh Jackman. Yeah, that's that's just mutton chops. <laughs> <laughs> you look like somebody untrustworthy from Emmerdale Farm. <laughs> just so different from my regular self. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I keep breaking my pencil heads. I'm too oh, excited. No. Have you got one of those pencils that's like uh, you click the end and it extends? Yes, oh, one I of those. Um, I used yeah, to have friend. one of those in school. I never used it as a pencil, but I, I pretended to inject myself. Well, yes, you would do that. that all. Is, yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, this isn't my favourite one of them. I've got another one called a zebra. Here it is. This is my favourite one of them, and it is really good. Is that a pencil? Oh, it's yeah. Zebra Delgard 0.5. Oh, nice. I don't know what any of that meant, but <laughs> I didn't. I've heard of zebra zebra pens. Like they do good, good like ballpoint pens. Yeah, I think it's the same guys. I'm gonna guess mm. it is. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, there'd be two stationary providers. Yeah, that would have been a court case, and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so last time you were on, we didn't talk about your musical exploits. Oh, did we not? We only talked about <laughs> your art, really. Uh, you say my musical exploits aren't art. <laughs> no, they are. They are definitely <laughs> art. <laughs> One of the things I was going to ask you was, um, who do you think is the better, not going to say artist, I'm going to say musician. Is it you, 
loved by millions, well, at least you know tens of thousands on the internet for your Maybe. music. Yeah. Uh, or is it me who has done some jingles for this show uh, that nobody likes? So who do you who do you think out of those uh, two? It's a, it's a tough one. I think it's you. Is the superior? I didn't want yeah, to say. Yeah, because it's, like, well, it's that thing of like um, popular artists are usually terrible. Uh, and and like the underground one that nobody likes yeah they're always amazing and transcending and just people just don't get you man that's once the i've died people yeah. are crazy for my jingles yeah store a load of them up like prince and his vault <laughs> yes. such a good idea i'm gonna yeah. do that i'm gonna do that good i'm pleased you said that because that was the that was the right answer really <laughs> 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 literally have no musical ability whatsoever. I have oh, a little bit of fun on Garage yeah, Band occasionally. That is musical. Everyone has musical ability. Oh no, like, yeah, you're, you're well. You're right. Uh, I, like, I should say because I do. I, I hate it when people say I can't draw or you know I don't because yeah. everybody can draw and it's uh, I'm yeah, doing yeah. the same thing. So I should <laughs> be doing that. There is sort of say like people ask all the time what instruments they can play, um, and the answer is everyone, all of them, all of. Them. <laughs> Like, all of the instruments. Because everyone can play all of the instruments. Yeah. You just hit it and it makes a noise. <laughs> like, or you're blowing it and it makes a noise. Like, occasionally, like, a flute is quite hard to get a noise out of it. Yeah. But if you hit a flute against, like, a piano, it makes a great noise. So, like, you can make... Exactly, yeah. Noise. If you blow into a violin, it's going to make some sort of noise. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I broke my friend's violin. Well, my friend's sister's violin. No, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. How does this relationship go again? <laughs> you broke your what? My my uh my uh friend's mother's daughter's violin. <laughs> mother's hang on. Yeah, yeah. Friend <laughs> his mother. There we go. Uh, and her daughter. Yeah. She had a violin. Hmm. Right, okay, and it was her violin that got smacked. Right. right. Yeah. How did you break it? Uh, it just kind of fell apart. <laughs> It was an accidental break. Yeah, I was just, I squeezed, I think I squeezed, I've got quite sturdy shoulders, and I think I squeezed too hard against my chin and my shoulder. Oh, the no. whole back of it just, like, broke apart. Oh. <laughs> uh, I had to take it to a shop, and they were really nice, but it was set me back. Violins are expensive. Oh, I bet, yeah. yeah. Was it quite a new one, or was it a... No, uh, no, I just had to, like, get it fixed, but... Um, it probably wasn't too expensive, but it was like I think more than I was expecting. Yeah. Um, what do you, what hand do <laughs> what hands do platypuses have? My one has just big flappy hands. Big hands. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the name of one of my friends. Your friend's called Big Hands. No, I made that friend up. I uh, haven't got a friend called Big Hands. Oh, you should. Uh, so, yeah, if anybody out there is called Hands and you are big or small, it can be an ironic nickname, that's absolutely fine. And you would like to be friends with Ed and me, it has to be both of us. <laughs> um, get in touch, please. Calling all hands. <laughs> <laughs> many hands make light work. Yes, we would like many hands, if <laughs> possible. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, the lights are off. I don't know what I mean. I'm distracted. Something's making a noise. Is that, can you hear that? Yeah. Is that my laptop? I thought you had the thing wrong. Oh, it is. It's my laptop making noise. Are you not filming on your laptop? Yeah. Oh, you are, but it's just a, that's much better. Is it? Yeah. Okay. We'll see. It's still, there's still a little bit of it, yeah, but it's better. Yeah, it's still definitely. quite, it sounds like it's taking off. This is the, this is the part where you put music over it. <laughs> like, <laughs> sort of chat about I may or may not. We'll see, see how lazy I'm feeling. <laughs> <laughs> so talk a bit about your musical outfit. I adore your songs. There's, I want to say some of them, uh, talk about some of them. There's one, I'm going to get it wrong. Is it called Flashing Lights? Oh, yeah, yeah. That is, I think, it's certainly one of my favourites. Thank you. That was the first song I wrote in London, I think. Was it? When I was in London, that was the first song. Was it inspired uh, by the flashing lights of London? Uh, kind of. Well, it's, it's inspired by, I, there was a lot of flashing lights in that I kept noticing 
in my life around that time and before that time. Yeah. Uh, and I it kind of worked with a bunch of stuff that was happening because uh, I won't get too much into it, but there was lots of things that were happening and not happening and like like everything seemed to like flashing lights. Like yeah. just it just seemed like it was there and not there and, and happening and not happening and, and everything. Uh, but also sparkly and <laughs> pretty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, that's fascinating. Yeah, that's I can't, that, that I, can't really play, I can't play that song very well anymore. Like, I think it's out of my range now. I think I've got, like, <laughs> sometimes I write a song and, like, I can sing it really well to begin, or I can sing it okay, like, the first few times I do it. And then as I go, I, like, I leave it for a bit and I come back to it. And I just, like, I cannot play it. There's, like, one song that I wrote, uh, when I was still in uni, that I cannot, it's just too low for me now. Um, my head, my voice has got higher. It's like reverse puberty. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah. it's quite a uh, pacey song as well. So it, it's, you, you need to, your mouth to be up yeah. to scratch, don't you? With the, uh... One day I'll write songs where that aren't just tongue twisters as well. <laughs> like, <laughs> so many of my songs just require not breathing for two minutes so like, <laughs> it's just <laughs> that's pretty but now you, in one of your songs you actually referenced or something we were talking about um there is a line something along the lines of every child is an artist and then we grow up and say we can't do it oh yeah yeah uh is that in pick up a pen yeah yeah um that's the one because the first time I heard that was uh, after um, Shawnee on this channel uh, talked to me about it. Oh, no. Oh. He mentioned it. He referenced it in that context. Oh. Oh, thanks, Shawnee. <laughs> <laughs> he's absolutely lovely. I love oh, he's, him. Yeah, he's brilliant. He's so sound. And he, like, such a lovely guy. Um, yeah, really, really uh, sweet guy. Yeah. He's a comics guy. So. <laughs> yeah. And you, as we know, I've got my bag here. Plug. <laughs> just nothing. Oh, just, gone. Just, gone. Just, just, Magic just... bag. <laughs> Magic bag. Oh, you've just got a bag with right. all Google image searches of me. <laughs> Comics people are the best people. Well, are the best. <laughs> These are the best. There you go. There it is. Just five pounds at tomshop.co.uk. Get them in time for Christmas. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> yeah, talking and drawing is way harder. It is tough. It is really <laughs> tough. It's easier for me because I just go, so tell me about this. And I carry on. Crafty. <laughs> it's a bit crafty, isn't it? Whereabouts are you from originally, Ed? Uh, so I was born. <laughs> we'll start. We'll start from the beginning. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, so I was born in Yorkshire. Can I put some Hovis music over this. Yeah, well, that'd be perfect for the, <laughs> the, the Yorkshire part. Uh, yeah. So I was. York. I can't in New York. <laughs> Yorkshire. Where about in New Yorkshire? Uh, in Ilkley, just outside. In Ilkley, I, yeah. used to, I used to live in Bradford, so um, oh. people oh. are and in Leeds. <laughs> yeah, I like. I don't really remember it because I moved when I was five. Um. Uh. Though so I recently went back. Uh. A couple of thought bubbles ago. Oh, um, cool. For me, and it was I annoyed uh, my friend Will who does comics. Uh, I annoyed him so much by just going. I was born just around the corner, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and we were staying in. I think we were staying in Shipley, and we were just like every time I was like, "Oh yeah, Adel Hospital." That was I was born there. You know? <laughs> and we went. We went back to. Um, so we went back to try and find my house that I lived in when yeah. I was like five and younger. 
Uh, and all I remember of it was um, that opposite was a, a street that, and the opposite was a field where the gas works were, where we apparently we all used to go and play. Mm. Uh, and the, at, the, at the end of the street was where John Cunliffe, who's Rosie and Jim, the John, uh, um, right, right. And the, the inventor of Postman Pat as well. Um, right. he, he lived at the end, end of the street. That's all I remembered of it. Um, and vaguely kind of what it looked like. But um, half the street has been knocked down for a bypass. <laughs> okay. To make room for a bypass. And we were trying to, so I couldn't find that house. And I was like, I think this is the street. Google Maps says this is the street. Um, so we went into like um, a shopping, a, what's it? Shopping. House. What's it called? The Precinct? shop. The shop. Like uh, a shop? supermarket. Supermarket. Ah, supermarket. Yeah. <laughs> uh, shopping house. Um. <laughs> so yeah, we like we went to the supermarket to ask uh, where, where where the street was, and uh, they were like, I don't know that street at all. And we worked it out that we were standing. The supermarket was where the field was. <laughs> of course, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. It's a oh. bit of an anticlimactic anecdote, I'm sorry. Did you buy anything as a souvenir from that time? Uh, uh, no, I didn't. But I did stand in it and I, went, I remember when all this was just fields. You know? Oh, yeah, that was nice. Yeah. You should yeah. have bought like a commemorative you know, can of Sprite or something. Yeah, I should have. <laughs> um. <laughs> but yeah, I, didn't, I don't really remember my Yorkshire days, like I, so I grew up in Wales. Um, right, whereabouts in Wales? I don't know uh, Wales, but... Uh, Pembrokeshire on the uh, southwest coast. Oh, uh, okay. Um, uh, and that's, that I consider my sort of like home where I'm from. And yeah. Uh, yeah, so I wouldn't place you in either of those places from your accent. I don't, mm. but, uh, where are your parents from? A, a very Welsh accent. <laughs> I can speak. I can speak Welsh. That's my get out when people say you're not Welsh. Can you really? Yeah. So I have all my like education was in Welsh. So like. Oh wow! Do you know what Captain Fishbeard is in Welsh? Uh, I don't know what beard is actually. Um, I don't know what beard. It's weird because like I haven't used it for for a while. So like some words just disappear it might be captain lots of those sort of oh, things no, it's, are... definitely, it's definitely captain um fish is puscard or puscard okay um and then beer. i don't know what beer is it's barf nice no, it's, it's either barf i think it's barf because barf is um like a bard like a poet maybe right Oh god, no, now I'm There's little things that trip you up. Like how I'm it's... usually I can I can hold conversation and I can talk to people in Welsh, but like Not so, about Captain I, Fishbeard, you can't. No, <laughs> I would probably say Captain Fishbeard because it's a name. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, no, no, that's true. That's true. No, I, it's um Captain Fishbeard and Weef. <laughs> and you'll have no idea what I <laughs> no, no, none whatsoever. <laughs> I have not. This picture is terrible. I might do it again. I might start again. What, what are you? Uh, what are you struggling with? Oh, just talking. <laughs> <laughs> I meant what bit of your picture? <laughs> oh, I just like I don't like it. <laughs> I might do another one. Wow. Um, See, what I find the trick is on these two. Um, if you don't like your picture, just finish it quickly and just draw something else you do want to draw. Uh, well, like, I do want to draw it, but I want to give it just the justice it deserves. Oh, uh, okay. Um, but I don't really know what a samurai costume looks like. And yeah, I, I haven't added that yet. So I didn't get you. I can't give enough room for Venice, I don't really. <laughs> 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 um, 
Are fun. you working on music at the moment? Have you got like an album on the go or anything like that? Um, I don't, not like, so I'm really like, I'm quite shy about playing when there's other people in the house. Right. Because of lockdown, always other people in the house. Yeah. <laughs> so, That's so, like, but I did, I did write and record a song a couple of weekends ago. Um, yeah, so like I'm doing like little bits, and there's a few. My friend Dave, who um, who actually like publishes, uh, he makes all the CDs, and he also publishes a bunch of my comics as well. Like, oh, cool! Um, Dave's a powerhouse. That's uh, great. That's yeah. great. And like he's he does my shop and stuff as well, and like I like so I don't have to deal with anything in my shop. I don't have to like if somebody buys something online, Dave gets a ping and uh, he posts it because he's a star and he gets nice. a cut, obviously, of everything. Everybody um, needs a day. I, I hope he. I hope he takes a cut. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> so worried he's doing it for free, but I don't think because that's like his job is he's like a distro for a few people. Uh, um, right. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. But we go way back and he's like. Really good friends, um, and we recorded an album like years, like 2012, I want to say. Yeah. An EP, and then like I think last year I went round his house and we recorded a bunch more songs which I hadn't recorded anywhere. Yeah. Uh, I think we did it. We like we did it a while ago, and then I went back to his house and listened to them and. There was only one that actually was good. <laughs> so, <laughs> sure, that's not yeah, true. Like, I think, yeah, no, it was it was very true. Like we just layered too either too many instruments, or it just was completely weirdly out of sync with each other. <laughs> oh no! Uh, I'm very spontaneous, and no, well, no, I'm very spontaneous, you know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um. Like I don't really right, come across badly, don't worry. <laughs> it's like when I'm recording music, I kind of just I know the guitar part because that's the bit that's written usually, yeah. and then I'll just make up everything else as I like I'm doing it. And so, um, like I'll record singing and guitar at the same time, and then I'll go then like a tune for like another singing part or. A, or I'll pick up a guitar and like play around until there's a bass line or play around until there's yeah. something else. And then like once it gets to a certain stage, it's like, okay, where does it sound really bad? And how <laughs> should I, can I just put laser noises in here to make it sound good? <laughs> That's my go-to. Laser like, noises. This is I missing it. something. It's either harmonica or lasers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so it's uh, yeah. So I think like sometimes it just it just doesn't work. Like okay, yeah, no, no. like sometimes you you're sort of obsessing over it. Too. It's like when you start drawing and you're drawing something really, you're drawing the detail on something like really you think is incredibly important at the time. And yeah, you look back and you're like. Oh, I've just put like way too much detail in that mug in the background. Yeah. Now, now all anybody's going to look at is this mug in the background. <laughs> like, yeah, I know that so well. Yeah. Just too much. <laughs> I'm doing another practice now. But were you doing like live gigs and stuff? Were you doing stuff out and, and out and about before the uh, before the lockdowns? Uh. Not so much. I don't know. I like. I don't really do. I haven't really done. I'd like to do more live stuff. I've done open mics more a few yeah. times. I've, I've sort of struggled to find a good open mic that I can regularly go to. There's quite a good one near me. Uh, obviously, it's stopped now. But um, uh, yeah, I find like when I was living in Cardiff. Yeah. It was quite easy because like there was a open mic on this night and a like each pub had like a different 
open mic and you sort of like find out which one you want to go to. Yeah. Go to them. Um, and here there's there's like, I know when like pre-COVID, um, there's like a, a new lockdown. Uh, not a new lockdown. My head <laughs> oh no! There's a new lockdown. <laughs> There's, there's like an open mic starting every 20 minutes somewhere in London. So it's like, yeah, yeah. it's picking that right place, I think it's quite intimidating. Yeah. So this, this one's going to be like multidisciplinary ones. There's going to be music ones. There's going to be comedy ones. There's going to be poetry yeah, ones, yeah. for sure. Um, oh, I've given this new one like a Ninja Turtles style. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I've done too. Uh, I'm just thinking. I think that's the way to do it. Yeah. I'm trying to remember what sort of shredder looked like. That's a good call. Cool. Yeah, I've just given him like that bandana and a sort of a black top with no sleeves. Uh, yeah. But I thought, well, I was going to do stuff. I liked the arms, so I kept them. So they made, I made it sleeveless. <laughs> <laughs> or I, I also, uh, do you know a show uh, called Phineas and Ferb? Yeah, I'm trying not to draw a detective. It's Perry the Platinum. <laughs> yeah. Um, Mine's a little bit Perry. <laughs> and I'm going to be okay. colouring him in we, white. We should all be a little bit Perry. I think we should. We should, we should. I like that show. Yeah, I've never, I've never really watched, I think I've watched like one full episode, but like... Uh, never had like Sky or anything. Well, yeah, it was only recently we got Disney Plus, so um, um, been able to see it all on there. Right. Yeah. Which is good. This channel is sponsored by Disney Plus. <laughs> For all your feelings and Ferb, you can watch, <laughs> and all of the uh, Gravity Falls you can watch. Oh sure, I don't. I, um, yeah, I never got into Gravity Falls. Oh, I love like, it. I it's feel only a like discovery it. for me. I feel like it should be something that I'd really like. Yeah. I think that's that's why I started watching. I was like, this, I've seen it referenced lots of times. I've seen people at Comic Cons with like this sort of stuff. And I'm like, yeah. I like it. So I'm just going to try and get, just watch a few and see. And then, yeah, I love it now. Oh, cool. Maybe I'll give it another chance because I watched the first episode and I wasn't taken with it. The first one is, is very much a setup episode. Yeah, it's one of those. Yeah, but yeah, give it, give it another shot. Mm. See what you think. Oh, this picture of a platypus is even worse now. <laughs> yeah. Like, I shouldn't be saying that because there's no bad drawings there. I'll, what I'll do is I'll fix it. <laughs> That's it. Fix it. Just make it something else. Yeah. Turn it into something new. <laughs> He's sort of, I'm going to make him fly. <laughs> He's like, why not, man? The platypus is, is defies nature in every category, so why yeah. not fly? So inspired by my broccoli and beans. Uh, dude, he's just farting into the air <laughs> like a true samurai would <laughs> absolutely right that's the samurai way so with your sketchbooks do you intentionally sort of go places to get inspiration to draw in sketchbooks or does it, does it just form part of your daily life these days I think like uh Uh, I don't know. What was the question? Sorry. <laughs> Just with your sketchbooks, because they're so varied and they seem to be all inspired by different things and there's so many different creative yeah. ideas in there. I wondered if you sort of decided to, to, to go certain places just to draw in a sketchbook so it would be have, have that sort of identity or whether they just came part of your normal everyday life. No, I don't think so. I think um, it is just a brain dump. So it's, it's yeah. like... Most of it isn't, um, like, I don't draw from life very often at all. Yeah. Um, nice. Though it's probably, like, inspired by, like, as, like everything. Is. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, like, uh, yeah, I don't know. I could draw, I, I think I just go other places when I can go other places to draw. Because yeah. it's... It's just nice to be in a different place, and it's quite nice. I don't have a table here as well. So like, right, so yeah, it's nice to have that. Yeah, I get so you. So, like, having, like, a table is, is good. 
It's <laughs> a top <laughs> top pro tip there from Ed Stock. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I am so sick of like my bed being just everything. Being just, everything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know, I know that, I know that feeling. I mean, you need like a, you know, a hard back sort of book surface so you can actually work on it. I yeah, used to yeah, bits yeah. Of wood. <laughs> well, that's what I've got here. So I think you won't be able to see, you know, you'll see later on, but I've got this slab of wood with a smiley face drawn on it. <laughs> 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 like, um, yeah, very, very useful, a, bit, a piece of wood. Yeah. Should give it a name. Why don't you give it a name? Should we christen it today? Oh, I like that. What does it look like? Colour is it? Uh, wood. <laughs> colour? Brown? Wood, wood colour. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a brown one. La <laughs> yeah. da. Yeah, I know. So, it's, it was actually, I bought it in an art place and it was more expensive than a piece of wood should be. Like a piece of MDF. <laughs> like I should have just gone and got some MDF and cut a piece of MDF to size rather than uh, got this fancy one. Uh, okay, so a name that suggests somebody is better than they should be. Hmm. <laughs> now I'm thinking of names. Now I'm thinking of people who have those names and thinking, no, I don't want to offend those people. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, yeah, that's always the danger with names. Yeah, but also you don't you don't want it to be a, a bad thing. You want it to be a friendly one because you're spending a lot of time with the piece of wood. Yeah, yeah, of course. I don't want a horrible... Let's uh, call it Stuart. Stuart? Yeah. Nice. You happy with Stuart? Yeah, Stuart's good. Okay, good. My friend's dog is called Stuart. Oh, that is an excellent name for a dog and a piece of wood. So there you <laughs> go. A piece of wood. Nothing else. Sorry, there's no other people called Stuart. There's probably someone called Stuart watching this. And stuff. Oh, oh. There's almost certainly. We, we have in excess of 250 followers here, so Ooh. it's uh, they're not even all, called, all of them are called Stuart. And they're all called Stuart. This is it. <laughs> That's exactly what I was about to say. It's like, comment below if your name isn't Stuart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah why not put your name below? <laughs> yeah. Are you uh, a Stuart with a W or a UA? <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's different. Mm. I wonder if the Stuarts have a bit of a rivalry. Mm. Maybe. St Stuarts and the Stuarts. Yeah. What was the, the, um, the old, the, the, the dynasty, the, the House of Stuart? That was, that was with the U, right? I don't know. What's that? House of Stuart? Is that like House of Fraser? Like uh, like Tudor <laughs> times, there's Stuart times, like oh yes, sure. Kings. Uh, I don't know any Stuart monarchs, no, but you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, no, I think it was a U, maybe. That, I think it was a U. That makes more sense. It's more, it's more regal, isn't it, to have a yeah, U? Yeah, I like think stew, so. stew spelled like a pot of stew art wouldn't. That's quite nice, actually. Stuart is like... Well, come Stuart. on. I like it's Stuart. Like I like art. Yeah. That's, mm. let's, oh, that's what we should... You should do one where you just make a pot of stew, and then you have to, like, do an art attack where you, like, throw it at the, at the floor. Are you going to waste a picture? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay, right. Yeah, I guess. I guess so. no, you could make it inside a bowl and then eat it after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or just, like, get line the floor with bread. And, uh, <laughs> nice. and then you can oh, yeah. do that and you can eat the floor very good I heard a top tip the other day <laughs> if you're cooking chicken Kievs always put a bit of bread underneath so if they leak you get some lovely garlic bread afterwards oh that's good that's good I don't think I I, I probably wouldn't make a chicken Kiev I'm a why would you make a chicken Kiev hmm? why wouldn't you make a chicken Kiev yeah, well I don't eat meat Oh, well, no, me neither, but... Um, I might that. make it for somebody else. And there are uh, uh, meat-free options. There's a plant-based option. Plant, plant Kiev? Plant Kiev. I, think, I don't know, they, they normally just call it not chicken Kiev or chicken, <laughs> chicken substitute Kiev. Corn Kiev, I don't know. It was a supermarket-owned one we got. It was pretty nice. Oh, Look it up. Sorry, I... Start drawing a gondola. I'm not. I'm, it's hard to not sound like you're rude <laughs> when you're drawing. <laughs> like, Honestly, don't worry. Don't worry. You can feel feel free to go quiet. 
<laughs> no, that's that way madness lies. <laughs> 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 So what have you been doing to keep yourself entertained other than your normal work um, during these these dark times? Uh, I had a Tamagotchi for a, for a little bit. Um, really? Yeah. Then then it died, and then on Halloween, it made a horrendous beeping noise. It was off, and it died, and it was just like it was doing this really high pitched scream. It took us ages to find. We totally turned off all the electrics in the house. Trying to find out what it is. It was haunted by a by a Tamagotchi. Where was it? Where was it being kept? Well, I just had it by my bed. I've got this little pot by my bed. Oh, that stinks. Um, it zombified. Yeah. It came back yeah. to life. I quickly just ran it under the tap <laughs> straight away because I was like, I need to get rid of this. Holy water. This Thames, your water. Thames water is obviously holy. <laughs> the amount of churches in London. <laughs> 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 So that is that is gone. Exercise that. <laughs> oh man, what a freaky thing to happen! Yeah, <laughs> it's not. Yeah. Oh man, do you think they programmed that in? Maybe. Oh, back to listen, Halloween. Open the battery and come back to life on Halloween. <laughs> Freak people out. That would be amazing. Like, hats off if they did that. Oh, man. Yeah, bravo. That is <laughs> some serious <Yeah>. trolling. <laughs> <laughs> I love to think that was intentional. I hope it was. I do as well now. I've so I know. Oh, sorry, sorry. Man. I was just, I've done, so I've, I've done like a really quick gondola with a gondolier man um, and I've given him a beard so I'm this is I've decided this guy is the Venice Captain Fishbeard oh nice I can think of an Italian translation oh uh, El Fischio Beard <laughs> <laughs> El Capitan Fischio Beard I like it very good <laughs> The Welsh, the Italians, the Italian yeah. Welsh, the Welsh Italian. Everyone. Is there a strong Welsh Italian link? I feel like there is somehow. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm just thinking of Fireman Sam. Same same colours on the flag. Yeah. <laughs> they green, white, and red. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, there is there's Fireman Sam, which is that's maybe connecting yeah. the two. Yeah, I'd like I like so I didn't watch Fireman and Sam in English. Oh it's, no! So what was? Because it's Sam Tan. Sam Sam, Sam Tan. Sam Tan and like, uh, yeah, and then and that's what I think it was originally in Welsh. Um, but like they do, they all speak Welsh, but with Italian accents, which is really. I don't know if I can even do it. Like, I'm not sure they've got Italian accent. I think they're just Welsh accents in the English one. Or the English translation, I mean. No, they... Do they have Italian? I think they... Or maybe they have... I think one of them at least does. Like, no, not all of them have Italian accents, obviously. But like, no, <laughs> I don't think Sam has. No. But no, like, uh, Bella, Norman's Yeah, mom, Bella. She's all like, Norman! I suppose it, she, it might be no, Italian. No, but there is one, there's you. someone, there's someone who is Italian. you think I better. Don't know. Now I'm sort of doubting everything. <laughs> I'm going to have to watch, I'm going to have to watch back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I didn't mean to make you doubt everything. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's good, healthy doubting. <laughs> You know what? The the unexamined life, you know, it's um, it's not worth living. So you need to uh, need to think about these things. Yeah. Uh, See, so, yeah, I was going to ask you actually more about TV because we discussed Bake Off and who our favourites were. Yeah, I was so close with Peter. 
Like Peter's not like you know you're saying about Peter. He was my second favourite. Yeah. Um, I think he's like the nation's sweetheart. Like yeah. he's the sort of like he's a lo- lovely young lad, and you know, he yeah, looks like he's about to cry. Like yeah, since the beginning, he's just yeah. been on the verge of it. Like, you want him to I do just, well, don't you? Yeah. You will it for him, yeah. Um, he's also just really good. He's fantastic. Yeah, he's great at the technical stuff as well. But I'm still... It's going to be wildly out of date when it comes. Actually, I'll, I'll get this out in a week. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would just cut out whoever goes out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can dub it over, yeah. yeah. I definitely think so I just say that, is going to win. Yeah, and then just say who all the names. <laughs> so I just go, go through them. So like, Amin is definitely my favorite. Well, she is my favorite. But I would, I'll go through. So Amin is definitely my favorite. Um, so so Peter is definitely my favorite. Um, <laughs> so Laura is definitely my favorite. I very think. Good. You're um, very good now. Oh, dude, Mark's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Who are we missing? Is that it? Is it the final next week? Uh. Am I missing something? Hmm. I think, Aaron, who's that fellow? Oh, the, uh, the fellow with the, the short, dark hair and the... Oh, Dave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's such a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, yeah, he's great. I don't want him to win, but, like... He, no, he's too dull to win. I don't... Yeah, he's not dull. He's just... Uh, <laughs> no, that was mean to say dull. Yeah. I think, like... I love that when whenever they give him good like feedback or they say something nice, he just couldn't like yeah, that's just that's oh. nice when they when they really it means a lot. But yeah, that is yeah, nice. and they just oh, and everything he does is so meaningful. Yeah, <laughs> like it just it just like oozes sincerity. That, no, you're like, absolutely right. it's very authentic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I I regret calling him that dull now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I said that. You better be. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm just. So now I'm just. This is my technique of uh, when stuff goes wrong. I just crayons, crayons out and just cover everything with crayons. Like it, like it. <laughs> crayons. <laughs> Why not? Uh, what colour is farts? It's green, isn't it? Farts? Is, yeah, it's either brown or green. It's um. Brown, we think brown, brown's a bit brown. too on the nose, though. It's, um, excuse can the you pun. Have pink, can you, have, you can have pink farts. Can you? I'm giving pink farts. Yeah, yeah, purple's fine as well, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't... I... So what uh, what else do you like to watch on the TV? We've discussed quite a lot of TV programs. Yeah, I'm watching. Um, I'm, so I'm really late to this, but I'm watching Atlanta at the moment, which is incredible. What is it? Uh, it's do you, you know um, Donald Glover. I do know Donald Glover. Yes. Yeah. So it's his. He wrote and he directs a couple of episodes, but he wrote a show. And it's just about. Uh, people live. It's like a. It's about a rapper, uh, and his. It focuses on like his cousin who's like uh, managing him. Um, okay. Yeah, this does ring a bell. Actually. Yeah, it's hard to explain because it's just about like Atlanta. <laughs> and it, yeah, it also takes place like, in the underwater yeah. city of Atlanta, doesn't it? This yeah. Is... Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah. But it is really, it, no, it's really great. Um, and I watched, I don't, like, I've had a week off work, so I've watched actually a few things. Um, I watched uh, May Martin's um, show uh, about May Martin. <laughs> yeah, no, how is that? How is that? I know it's um, kind, it kind is, of autobiographical. But yeah. Um, it's good. It's brilliant. It is really good. It made me cry. Oh, uh, lovely. At the end. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it is very... Like, What's it on? Um, Channel 4. Oh, okay. It's all on... It's on all catch four up. or whatever. Yeah, the yeah, catch-up All thing. four, it's such a bad name. <laughs> <laughs> all four. They must have known. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'd never thought of it <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah, no, I'll give that a watch. Actually, that sounds good. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. Have you been watching anything? I don't really watch a lot of TV. I sort of no, don't. And then there's certainly no appointment TV. Like I said, I caught the bank off last night, but I did have to go to the shop uh, towards the end. Uh, <sighs> <laughs> so I missed the end. I didn't miss the end. I sort of came to the very end. Uh, what have I been watching? A lot of Gravity Falls. That's my lunchtime thing. Mm. I like to watch that with my lunch. Um, <laughs> yeah, just just sitting on the on the sofa with your lunch. Just yeah. now I'm on your lunch. <laughs> Just exactly. watching yeah. it. It's normally my puppy is next to me. Puppy. Oh, you can't eat puppies. That's... Puppies. Oh, I've a puppy for lunch. <laughs> that's great. But yeah, she comes and sits next to me. Oh, that's nice. What kind of dog? Lunch. I probably asked you before, and you probably said and I forgot. No, well, I didn't have her last time we spoke. Oh, okay. Um, her name is Mindy. She's a golden doodle. And she, I'm more commending. Yeah. Uh, and she's enormous. She's absolutely huge. She's only five months old, but she's, she's like this big. I might go and get her in a minute. Yes. Indeed. She'd like to see her puppy. She's yeah. a full size dog. I'm going to do like, another. Sorry. I'm going to do another. Yeah, so how's that going on? So you've had her how long? Uh, since two months. So two three months. months. Three months. Yeah, just over three months. Oh. Yeah, it's brilliant. I love it. That's great. Yeah, I've been wanting a dog for a long time. Mm. It was ours, yeah, we had we had an old boy a long time ago. Well a few years ago. And then he passed obviously, but um and we didn't get one straight away. We had, we waited a while. We yeah, yeah. That's no, that's good because cool. then you're like you're not uh, it's not like a rebound. <laughs> exactly. And yeah, we wait. So you're not like comparing. And you're exactly. Like, yeah, yeah. There's a lot to think about in getting a new dog. Yeah, and you're also just not like postponing the grief, if that makes sense. Exactly. You can yeah. Actually, yeah. grieve over. Just, just like, deal yeah. with the grief. No, yeah, I had to properly yeah. deal with it. It was, it was really hard, actually. <laughs> it was really, uh, yeah. really cut up for a long time because it was like. My my life. I got up every morning and went and walked the dog. I came home from work every day and I walked the dog. And it was just like I walk go out with this dog, you know, twice a day, every day, and that's my life. And mm. felt really empty without him. Oh, Have you had dogs throughout your life? In the... I, I had. I used to be really quite scared of dogs, and then we got a dog, and then I was less scared of dogs. We got like a golden retriever. Yeah. Kid, and then. Uh, yeah, not had another. I've had cats, lots of cats. Yeah. Like pretty much everywhere I've lived, some cat has come in and just gone, yeah, I live in Dude, Yeah, in yeah. every rental place I ever had, a cat would come in and make friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is the first place where there's not been a cat. Oh, there will be. I think. Well, because I live in a high rise, I'd be. Oh. If a cat makes it up this far. <laughs> I'd be impressed. What floor are you on? Uh, the sixth floor, so quite. Oh yeah, that would be quite yeah. high. Yeah, yeah. You got a balcony. Yeah, a little balcony. <laughs> so a cat could potentially get up here on <laughs> jumping from balcony to balcony. It like, really uh, wants assassins to be like I was, Prince of Persia. I was due to be on a Zoom meeting with somebody last week, and they mm. delayed it for half an hour. And I um, went on the call with them, and I they said, I'm really, really sorry. Um, I had to put you off a moment. But um, I heard this really loud bang on my balcony. Uh, and I went out there, and uh, there was just this Irish man lying there. All right. <laughs> they were having, apparently, the, the next door people were having some scaffold, scaffolding done. Uh, so there was some building work done there, some scaffolding up. And this fellow had just toppled off onto, onto his balcony. And his mates just came along, picked him up, and took him away again. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's, that's, pretty, fine. that's pretty cool. Yeah. We've got um we we've got like uh, so my flatmate's dad got us a, a rope in case there's a fire. Oh that's clever. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> like, it is, yeah, yeah, um, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um but I've often thought 
like if I just drop the rope onto the balcony below at just the right moment, <laughs> uh, that could be quite funny. <laughs> you could do all it's less, less funny now I'm saying it out loud. <laughs> it's funnier in my head. Like they're not expecting a rope and suddenly rope. It's comedy gold. Surely. <laughs> you drop all sorts onto that balcony. Yeah. They're not oh, expecting any of, the, any of that <laughs> stuff. <laughs> awesome. What else we watch? We watched uh, The Queen's Gambit. Have you got Netflix? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, That's that, what is that even about? It's about... What is that even about? What is that about? <laughs> just sounded it way too sad. It's about a young girl who's uh, in a uh, an orphanage, like a children's home sort of place, and um, she gets taken in by a family, and at was well, at the school, she uh, this, the janitor sort of gradually teaches her chess, and she becomes, like, super awesome at chess. She's got, like, a, a real prodigy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm only a few episodes in, but it's it's really nice. Oh, so it's, it's like Queen, the Queen is in the like so the Queen Gambit is like exactly, a yeah, yeah. It's it's just it's got a really lovely tone to it. I think you'd like it. It's um, it's very it's very nice. And it's you know it's very interesting and entertaining too. I do like things that are nice and interesting and entertaining. There you go. That's got how, the whole package. How did you know? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I've settled. I found. I've drawn a platypus I like now. (laughs) Oh, what you like? I've drawn a platypus I like. I'm on platypus number three. Yeah, now. Okay, this is my. This is my one. This is the one. Yeah. He did that in a very. Adam's. This is the one. This is the one. (laughs) I was expecting you to carry on. (laughs) (laughs) Nice. Do you find that if you watch like or uh, cartoons or read comics by certain artists with quite a distinct style, that you tend to you try when you draw afterwards, you've got some of that in your head? Yeah, probably. I'd like I, I. Yeah, I think it's hard not to, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Because you just get inspired by stuff. Even if it's not conscious, you just like... Yeah. So you'll draw something and you'll be like, oh, yeah, no, I just saw that pretty much. Sure I was <laughs> exactly, yeah. But then, yeah. That's great, though. It I is. quite like that because it's like you are... You're never going to draw it exactly the same. So you are no, just, but yeah, you channel the same sort of energy to it. That's the, yeah, and it's sort of like it's something that's important in your life, and that's yeah because it happened. And it's kind yeah. of like drawing from life, but your life is cut into at that point. Well, exactly. And I, I can trace pretty much everything in my style of drawing back to one uh, inspiration or another. You know, it's a, probably a mix yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If I actually sat down well, and thought about it. Yeah. I was going to say, what, what is this uh, platypus inspired by? But it's Perry. Yeah, mine's mine's Perry the platypus. <laughs> Pretty much, I even coloured him in very similar colours. Oh, colour! Yes, I've yeah. done colour. Um, this is now yeah. a good time, I think, to tell you that I've coloured my picture and moved on to drawing a picture of Paul Hollywood. Oh, oh. So I did a zine ages ago, like yeah. a, a bake-off zine when back did when you? Mary Berry, right back when Mary Berry uh, was in it, and I drew, uh, yeah. I drew Paul Hollywood as a fish finger. <laughs> it's still it's a fish one of, <laughs> and it's still possibly the best drawing I've ever done. Oh, like I that can't scene, see that. like a lot of it's gone. I think I've only got like one picture of. Mary Berry is like a reptile, and then like um, Paul Hollywood in the background as a fish finger. <laughs> it does ring a bell somehow. Would would I have possibly seen this? I, I possibly put like bits of it on Tumblr. Maybe. I think I had like Mary Berry having a chat to herself 
and her just like sort of like we must put more gin in the cakes. Yes, Mary, we must. We must eat him like the humans do. Yes, good idea, Mary. No soggy bottoms. No soggy bottoms, Mary. And like I had a lot of fun making it. <laughs> if you've got a picture of that, I've probably got it somewhere. I'll put it here. If we, if we find it, it's here now. Okay, cool. Look at that, it's a masterpiece. Or if not, then that was just my hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's... Okay, so I wanna... Can I just give you a picture of your own hands? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Hand, you I won't do that. <laughs> I think you should. Um, sort of... I'm trying to. Have you done this bridge of, bridge of size on your picture? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I've kind of I I've started drawing the bridge of size now, but I I was going to do like a cyan gar gar gargoyle on it because I don't remember what. Um, but it's kind of just a shouty. So I'm guessing this is like the bridge of shouts. Shout. <laughs> bridge of shouts. Shout bridge. Yeah, shouty bridge. That famous Chelsea Bridge? <laughs> it would be famous. <laughs> <laughs> we walked past and it went, Oi, fatso! Yeah. You'd be like, hey! Like, hey, that's body shaming. I know you're a bridge, but... <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> He'll be like, I'm a bridge, you'll get over it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's got a lot of puns, the bridge. Yeah. He's got a lot of time uh, to up. Yeah, it's all water in the bridge. I I can't think of any more. I can't. Oh no, I'd given up straight away. I knew I knew my brain wouldn't be able to do more than one. Oh, but now it's gonna think about them. That's yeah, all I'm gonna be able to think about. It <laughs> Man, I drew my Paul Hollywood from memory. It was I didn't use any reference, and um, it doesn't look much like him. Oh, but um, I'm happy with it. All the state. If I can, hopefully it won't. Uh... Oh yeah. Oh no, that's really good. Can you do it to the? Because the heads, it's kind of cut around the head. So do you think you could replace your head? With... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe I could. That would be fun. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, maybe I should try and cut that out and put it over my head. Well, I could be the poor Hollywood approving people. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, I'm going to quickly give this a bit of colour. I'm not going to... There's it. no hurry. You can spend as long as you want. Uh, I'm going to get a quick... Because I really want to draw a Paul Hollywood. <laughs> you want to draw what, sorry? Paul Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just really excited to do that, but I, I, I have to finish this. Because... <laughs> Uh, right, so we'll think about what to draw now. Maybe I'll draw a prue leaf. Or maybe I'll draw something yeah. not related. How about that? Oh. I'm trying to get. Oh, I've got my iPad here. I can reference something. Oh, look. The show's gone up. In, in... Oh, something. It's really hard to draw on top. <laughs> how have you managed to persuade so many people to do this? <laughs> well, they they don't know they're going to regret it until they're already doing it. Yeah, it's too late then. <laughs> <laughs> I should have said that my background is full of uh, the Google image results that you get when you search for Ed Stockham. Uh, on that well-known search engine, there's some stuff which is very clearly his drawings. Some drawings uh, some photographs of people who i don't know oh uh, i can tell you who they all are i think okay well, i can't um, actually see them very small on my little screen oh. somebody just here isn't there yeah so that's savannah, savannah, that's savannah. um and i did a i did some illustrations for one of her poetry books she's a very good she's a very good writer she's written a novel and some lots of poetry uh, oh. and she's very good at it uh, and i got the pleasure of drawing illustrating one of her books um when she first started out 
which is why that's there, I think. Who else can we see? It's, it's a me. I think most of them are me. I yeah, think. that's odd under your name. Yeah, I think there's maybe... I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Most of them are just me at different times in my life. My favourite bit is it says nutritious breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? It's got nutritious breakfast, YouTube, net, net worth. Net worth. I'd, I'd like to know that. I wouldn't know that. Is. Should I Google it now? Just some Jaffa cakes, probably. That's probably too much. For that. What's, what is my net worth? Right, Ed, stop. <laughs> what is my net worth? Oh, about a tenner. <laughs> Sell it at a good net market. Net worth, income, estimated earnings of YouTuber Ed Stockham. YouTuber Ed Stock. I haven't made a YouTube video since. Okay, so your net worth is apparently $375 to $2,250. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've actually, I'm like, my, if it's just based on my YouTube, it'll be nothing yeah. because I. I don't earn any money on YouTube. I like took ads off all of my videos. So if there's uh, only ads on my videos if like there's been a copyright strike on them and that that advert is for whoever the music is for. Like I if it's like it. if I've used somebody else's music and they've been like uh, we'll take the ad revenue from it. That's the only time I've got adverts on my site. Everything else is I took the ads off. What a good man. Actually, yeah, and on this site, yeah, it looks like a, a, it's called Stats Match. It does say net worth zero. There you go. So. Oh, for you? No, for you. On this oh, site, I've gone to a different yeah. site now. My net worth is absolutely zero. That's uh, there. That's, that's oh, no, that's not true. We'll just, we start our own one, and we'll just put, like, million pounds. <laughs> 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 and then just be, like, showing everybody. We're like, yeah, my net worth. Yeah, I don't really tell Hello. Look, my net worth is here. <laughs> oh, I've just checked my uh, phone and I think I've been drawing outside of the frame for the whole time. <laughs> no, I just quickly, I don't know, but it was like right over, so that's what I've been doing, just in case. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry if that's the case. Okay, start again. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, uh, my name is. Uh, Captain Fishbeard, Tom. Do you say Tom? Do you say your name's Tom, or do you say your name? What, how do you start this? Uh, if I, I haven't done intros for the last few, actually, uh, no. but normally I do introduce myself. I think I, I think I say hi. My name's Tom Spark, or I'm Tom Spark, right. or something like that. But like I, said, I haven't done intros for a little while. I just um, you start straight in. Yeah, they were time yeah. consuming, so I stopped doing them. <laughs> I really liked them though. I used to work, like that was always my favourite part was when you. I think there's there's one where you do like a really creepy robot voice, and it genuinely scared me because you did it for quite a long time, and I was like, there is something wrong. I think there is genuinely. <laughs> oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, That's good. <laughs> I really like them. Going back. <laughs> well, maybe I will for this one. But yeah, I've sort of run out of ideas a little bit. <laughs> I did, uh, did as many as I could and then was like, I can't think of anything else to do on this one. Well, that's sad. Maybe I'll just be Paul Hollywood and introduce it as that. Yeah, well, it's kind of like the bringing it back to Bake Off. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's kind of like the, the, the cold opens on like, Bake Off. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is like, the, yeah, I suppose it is, isn't it? I think they've copied me, actually. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. That um, that Matt Lucas is a, a thief. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know him. No, I I, I haven't had the pleasure of his uh, meeting him before. I think he'd be quite fun to draw because he's just kind of like a, a big baby. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's that's how his career started, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm playing baby. Um, what am I doing? I'm drawing Hollywood. Oh, you're on to Paul Hollywood now. Yeah, I'm going to draw him. Shall I draw him when I remember him from the zine that I did? Yes, please. <laughs> I 
I don't remember if he already is. I'm drawing Noel Fielding now, and that is fun. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Noel always has the best jumpers. Oh, know. amazing jumpers. I've drawn him with a shirt collar now. I can't draw a jump. Maybe maybe he's got a jumper over the, over the top now. <sighs> yeah, he has, yeah. Yeah, he's lovely, fluffy jumpers. They're always amazing. Yeah. Right? I looked one up, like, I think there was, like, a, there was one that was, like, a dinosaur genius uh, jumper. Yeah, I looked it up to see where he got it and how much, and it was like it was like a year's salary. <laughs> it, was like, <laughs> it was like insane. It was it was it was like like fivefold my net worth. <laughs> wow! Whoa! It's like not my worth? Seriously? Yeah. Wow! But it was like it was a lot of money, but like you would, wouldn't you? I'd spend it all on jumpers. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. If I had the money there, or if I just have a year's salary straight off. Mm. Oh, yeah, this is, that's the danger of getting, like, everything in one go. Well, it's, yeah, you spend it all on jumpers, and then you haven't got anything left to spend on food and stuff. You, you know, you have to eat the jumpers. Oh, no. Well, yeah, I believe you brought some tasty jumpers. <laughs> You'd hope so for that, perhaps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've put way too much of a beard on this Paul Hollywood. Oh man, yeah, I wish I'd used a reference for mine now. But it's quite um, go on. like an unkempt. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Paul, like just having woken up. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say like, oh, it's not Paul Hollywood; it's more Paul Basingstoke or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Digital city in Cardiff. Uh, was the digital village in Cardiff? <laughs> <laughs> digital city. Is it? No, it's not a city. I think it's a village. The digital village. It's like Paul Milton Keynes. Paul Milton Keynes would be the one. Yeah. yeah, that's it. When we get our own sketch show, you could do Paul Milton Keynes. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have an empire before long, right? <laughs> It's been Bake Off heavy this episode. This is um, if anyone doesn't know who uh, what what the Bake Off is, it might be quite uh, quite uh, isolating. I know it'd be better. It's way better all of this chat without knowing what the Bake Off is because then it's just like <laughs> what is got no Prince of Jumpers, Fish Finger, Paul Milton Keynes, <laughs> uh, and then the. There's some kind of baby. Baby man. <laughs> <laughs> and like, they, they do like a little skit, just like, <laughs> at the beginning. And then there's, ah, uh, yeah. Oh, my foot. I've just been sitting on my foot. Oh, has it gone to sleep? Yeah, a little bit. We've got it in front of the camera for <laughs> There we go, Matt Lucas on it as well. Nice. I've um, I put Paul Hollywood's famous phrase, right fellas, how's the bread? What was that, sorry? Paul Hollywood saying, right fellas, how's the bread? Oh, okay. So it's always saying. <laughs> I've done that thing. Like, I've been doing this loads recently. Um putting exclamation marks instead of question marks. Oh, really? And then, like, I found myself just drawing, having to, like, put, like, either put an exclamation, like, a question mark after the 
exclamation mark to yeah. make it look like it was just like a shouting question <laughs> or like having to do the hor- like weird kind of I was going to say horrible but they actually look quite nice but you put like you just put a big circle at the top of the exclamation mark and it just looks like an exclamation mark with a really long tail <laughs> yeah I get you I get you oh bless you so I'm allergic to exclamation marks with really long tails. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all right. I'll make the dot bigger. Yeah, right. that's better. <laughs> <laughs> Much better. <laughs> um, I'll do, I'll do Prue. Oh, like, nice. Yeah, do do Prue. Like, all I remember of Prue is glasses, is the, her glasses and necklaces. So I think that's all I have, can draw of her. What happened to uh, Sandy Toxpeak? She was on there for a while. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's because they're all locked down and she just didn't want to live with them. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon that's... <laughs> He's like, nah, not yeah. having that. <laughs> <laughs> Does Prue have a big nose? Through a big hang on, I've got she's in the background of one of my reference pictures. Over here. Uh, it's it's relatively wide. I wouldn't say it was big. It's wide. It's relatively wide. Well, you want to say? Hang on, I'll show you. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll. Damn. I was doing it from memory. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Can you see her? She's yeah. Ubering at you. <laughs> <laughs> But now it's worse whatever I'm drawing because I've seen a picture of her. Uh, <laughs> so, like. She can hide. Oh. Uh, it's alright. <laughs> no, she's just peeping at you. <laughs> <laughs> creepy, creepy, through. <laughs> Who's this peeping at you? Who's this? Having a peep. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This doesn't look like true. <laughs> <laughs> it's all. <old. laughs> oh god. No, it really doesn't. Oh well, we'll put a big necklace. Look the it. spirits there. I was going to, at some point, I had this really good idea that I would do, um, like a book of portraits of people that don't look anything like the people. <laughs> that sounds like fun. I mean, like I would somehow. I don't know. And not I either put like the. The names of the, the people on there or not i don't know whether it'd be funny by the by the people so uh, yeah no i would i would try and draw the people i'm terrible at doing portraits when i'm like when i don't know perfect. yeah sometimes i'm quite good sometimes i can do it she's it sometimes they come really easily i do quite yeah. a few of them these days i've been trying to do more and more but sometimes you capture somebody really quickly and you get the, yeah. something about them and you go oh, okay this is going to be fine now i'm in i'm in this and sometimes you just draw and draw and draw and draw oh i find i keep doing it and doing it i cannot capture them mm. you just keep doing it until you get something to hook onto yeah so what i find really this is probably going to insult a lot of people I find very handsome or very beautiful people very, very hard to draw. Mm. I, I don't know why. They're, they're too they're, symmetrical or they're too... Yeah. Because cartoons already have big eyes and, you know, that's the thing. So I suppose that's not something you can really accentuate on somebody who's got that sort of face. But I find it very, very difficult. If someone's very handsome, especially. They've got this very sort of symmetrical sort of... Yeah, they've got no real feature you can just... Yeah. On. That's I it, I think. Like, whereas if somebody comes over with a really... Though, having said that, like, I saw there was one... So at, like, conventions and stuff, I often... I, I used to do, like, um, like a commissions thing where it's, like, I draw a really quick drawing. And it yeah. almost inevitably comes to, can you draw me? And so I end up doing portraits. Yeah. 
um, and I'm really, and I have to just go, I'm really bad at portraits, I'm really sorry. <laughs> and they're like, no, fine, go for it. Um, I had one where somebody asked for a portrait, and um, well, I'm sorry, I'm just sitting on my charger, it's really warm. <laughs> I was like, oh, what's really, I just, yeah. Um, it's a chilly night. Yeah. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, um, yeah, somebody came over and asked for a portrait, and she just had, um, like her defining feature was she had quite small features on quite a large head <laughs> and it was just like you look great okay. I can't <laughs> but then I can't not draw this. Well, yeah, you can't not, yeah. Because that's what she looks like. This is why I've never done them at cons. I've been too scared. Yeah, and it, it just becomes this... Does she have some sort of distinctive hair you could put on her, or...? Uh, uh, yeah, I just kind of drew as best I could without taking the... <laughs> without seeming like I was taking the... <laughs> I was she happy with it? Yeah. I think Send her off crying, like, oh, why did you make my <laughs> why did you make my features proportionate to the rest of my head? <laughs> I look like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really mean. I <laughs> Some people have those those faces though. Yeah. I think a lot of men as they get older have to. I think Leonardo DiCaprio's got a bit of that to him. Yeah, he definitely does. Small yeah. eyes. Um, uh, what are you struggling with now? I don't know, just everything, I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Prue is now a clown. We are making. Oh, nice! Things. That's fun. <laughs> yeah. All right. Here we go. <laughs> oh, weirdly, it looks more like Prue now. I've got Paul Hollywood riding on her back as well. Riding on? Oh, wow, I cannot wait to see this. This is going to be immense. Who else is that? So I've got to draw Noel. Um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Noel what and the baby. What happens at the end of these videos? Um, don't have to. Hmm? Fine. It's fine, you don't have to. There's no pressure. What? Oh, is it? No, is it the closing your eyes and drawing? Yeah, that's what we normally do. So we can I pick some, somebody yeah. or something to draw with eyes closed if you want oh. to. Yeah, shall we go for that? Because otherwise I'm just going to... Yeah. Well, it's because we could tie it in, or I've got a pot of animals here I can pick from. Should you do a pot of animals, mix it up, because it's been quite pick up heavy. <laughs> yeah. <I don't> <laughs> Hopefully we don't I pull mean, out. I have to read it. We're not going to put out Mary Berry in this part here. Here we go. I've got one here. It's a gnu. A gnu. It's a gnu. Nice. Thanks to Nikki from the Legs Comic Podcast for that one. Oh, thanks, Nikki. A gnu. Sorry, to say him. I said thank. I was thanking Nikki. Oh, that was nice of you. Well, thank you. Um, right. Oh, okay. Good. Wonderful GNU. Do we? GNU. Are we doing this off the top of our heads, or should we look up? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it off the top of my head. All right. Yeah, I was doing like, it. Yeah, I wouldn't. I don't want to search for a GNU. No. Okay. I want that to be on my history. <laughs> <laughs> Google to be the final like, straw for the government. Yeah, I'll be right. put on some sort of like list. The GNU list. <laughs> People who search for GNUs. <laughs> oh, right. Those people. <laughs> okay. You're trying to be lumped in with those people. I'll just check that. Are right. you ready? Yeah. Set. Okay, one, two, three, close eyes. Okay, here we go. Always make the same mistakes with these and forget where I am with it. Yeah, that's happened again. I think that's the point of it, though, surely. 
It's, it is. It's part of the fun. Uh, oh, I know. I haven't done it in years. So there is. There's some. Here. Oh no, there should have been upwards. Oh, there's years, isn't there? <laughs> I've forgotten. No. Now look. Uh, <laughs> probably leg there. Um. Oh no. Okay. Um. I think I've definitely drawn a leg in the face. <laughs> no one wants a leg in the face. <laughs> <laughs> That's somebody. Somebody comes up to you in a con with a leg coming out of their face. And just like, <laughs> Can you draw? Can you draw me. <laughs> like, ah. I'm gonna draw that now as well. Well, still, if my eyes are still closed. I'm still gonna draw with my eyes closed. Somebody with a leg face. Okay, I finished. Oh my god. Sorry, I opened my eyes. That's all right, you can open your eyes. I didn't draw a leg coming out of the place. Oh man. Oh, well, I'm really I, pleased. I, I didn't either. <laughs> oh, it's quite it's quite satanic what mine's come out as. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Oh man. Mine looks like um Bullwinkle from Rocky and Bullwinkle. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, quite, I'm quite happy with that. <laughs> uh, good, good. It's a bit more of an abstract feel to it. Mm, yeah. Excellent. Oh, God. I feel like all I want to do is see your pictures, but I'm going to wait. I'll wait until. <laughs> you have to watch the video. It's going to be an hour and a half of uh, waiting, I'm afraid. Oh, it's an hour and a half. <laughs> That's where we're at at the moment, but obviously this will be shorter, I'm sure, on the, uh, on the video. Mm. Also, like, I will just skip my bits. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't want to hear myself talk about Bake Off. <laughs> Why not? It's great. <laughs> right, you know, at this point, I have to uh, start colouring my canoe a little bit and then get you to plug everything. And it's going to take a while. I'm leaving as much time as possible because you've got to plug your art, your music, uh, yeah. any just books, Google. Just Google. Dino, everything. Just Google me. <laughs> just Google. You can have that array of pictures. Yeah, it's, just, just, it's the easiest thing to do because I'm on... I'm on, I'm on Twitter and Instagram, I guess. And You've got a SoundCloud? I've got a SoundCloud. Uh, it's all my name. i got Bandcamp, which isn't my name, but it's a secret what it is, so you have to Google me to find out what it is. Nice. <laughs> uh, what else have I got? I got uh, I deleted my DeviantArt, so I don't have that anymore. <laughs> you deleted your what, sorry? DeviantArt. Oh, I really? I never had a Bebo. What else is there? <laughs> but never had a Bebo. Never had a Bebo. That's, that's, your, next, that's your next single started there. <laughs> yeah. Never had a Bebo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> never had a Bebo by Ed Stockham is also out mm. yeah, next month. <laughs> um, yeah, that'll be debuting on a newly, uh, on a Bebo account. <laughs> <laughs> Specifically for for that track. Um, <laughs> it's debuting on MySpace. <laughs> no, I had a, a live watch along on MySpace. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I don't, um, Good stuff. Well, you know, I know you are really yeah. No. I'm never sure. I'm never sure what to do with I always feel because if you if you want to see my stuff, you'll find my stuff. <laughs> it's not, you are everywhere. Um, yeah, I am. <laughs> it's it's quite concerning. I see everything. It's disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> I want to colour my canoe in. You colour your canoe in because I'm just finished. Can you? Off. I'll well, I'll, I'll colour my canoe in while you plug your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, watch my videos at uh, captainfishbeard.com. Uh, my Kickstarter, by the time this is out, has finished. Um, has four days, four or five days to go now today. Uh, so it's probably finished, but that was at um, springheeljack.co.uk. But that's moot. Why am I even saying it? Um, well, it's for me. I'm going to definitely. I'll check that out. <laughs> I will pledge for it because I don't think I've pledged for it. You don't need to, mate, honestly. That wasn't, wasn't a hint by any means. <laughs> I'm. Uh, I've drawn a tradesperson. 
outside of their storeroom, which is a reference to our previous video. What was that? Because, and it's a reference to our first conversation. The tradesman deals in meat. Oh, okay. Like what the butcher does yeah. is the quote above it. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> And that's how we remember how to spell Ed's name. Mike Wild Butcher does Ed Stock Ham. Oh, there he is. The butcher with his ham. <laughs> <laughs> and th thanks for tuning in for another great Bake Off podcast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Bake Off's officiest slice. We'll be back yeah. next week with another guest. <laughs> I've been Joe Brand. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Brand. Joe Brand looks a lot like my mum. Oh, really? Yeah. So you could have kind of been Joe Brand. Yeah. Can I be Tom Allen? Does he do that one? Yeah, yeah, of course he can. Yeah. He's a Tom. So it might uh, I'm not Tom Allen. He's wonderful. He's, he's really fun. Like, uh, he was, like, I did a show with um, a great group of improvisers called the RH Experience, and we had a show where I drew backgrounds. Um, uh, in, the, in the background, and we did uh, we did Edinburgh, and then we did like a, a couple of nights at Soho Theatre, and um, that guy Tom, Hello. yeah, Tom Allen was he was on before us. Um, oh, cool! In one of the things, so like, but I didn't know. I don't think I'd seen him in anything when we did that. So I just thought, oh, it's just some stand-up guy shouting about. I think he was. Like talk about mini cheddars or something. He was just. He was honestly. Um, but he was really lovely. Like went to see his stand up. Like, it was the best. Was it? So good. You can well, did you, come did back. you actually talk to him then? Was he? Yeah, yeah. He came because we were in the we were like in the backstage bit, and he was yeah. on for us, and it's like he sort of came out and was like, "Hey, cool. This is your first time uh, at Soho." Um, yeah. Uh, it was my first time, but I don't think I think the other like Connor from the group has worked there, but I don't know if he was working. This is a really long I'm so I'm just more like, <laughs> you you've already stopped the video by now, right? Sure. <laughs> no, no. Oh, I wanna watch your breakdown. <laughs> oh it's like this is this is what happens when I'm sleepy after a cup of tea and I haven't gone to sleep, I just start talking to try and keep myself awake. <laughs> What had Connor done beforehand at the uh, at the Soho Theatre? Oh, he he um, worked there, but I can't remember if he was working there at the time. Oh, I see. I see. Afterwards, um, uh, and like I can't really remember what we said. I just remember him being like, it might not have even been Tim, but Tom Allen, Tim Allen, good. Not Tim Allen. It wasn't him. Was uh, home improvement. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, fun. Okay, I'm going to let you go to sleep uh, then. Sure. Wait, should I surrender? Ow. Oh, I haven't stood up for a while. Where are you going? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, if we're ending it. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Play. I didn't want to ask you for a song. I thought that was too much. I'm not going to sing a song because. Flatmates are um, watching a film in the other room. I don't want to. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, fair enough. <laughs> I just thought I'd end it. On... This is nice, it's outro. It's very out of tune there. I thought that would be better. Sorry. I love See it. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Do listen to Ed's music. He is a very talented musician and songwriter. As you just heard. <laughs> And we've broken him. So yeah. that was the best of Ed. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, mate. It's been an absolute okay. pleasure okay. having you again on the channel. And yeah, hopefully we'll have you back again. <laughs> I would love to, if you if you recover in yeah. time. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Thank you and good night. Good night. <laughs>